Welcome back, everyone. Toysh is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another news update. Today, the Marvel Legends team took to their YouTube channels to talk about a bunch of new Marvel Legends figures. Also, to kind of clarify ones that they've previously revealed, here's how to get them, yada yada. So, as always, uh, when these links or when these pre-orders go up, I will have them in the descriptions down below. Thanks for using my links. Helps the channel to grow, yada yada. For the most part, everything's going to go up tomorrow. But depending on when you see this video, uh, yeah, just as a heads up. So, Ryan, Dan, and Dwight showing off some Disney Plus Marvel Legends figures, right? You got the Moon Knight. The new Disney Plus show is on right now. I'm enjoying it, although I can tell you that I don't really understand what's going on for the most part. It's just kind of like, it's kind of like that Legion show, right? Where I feel like the later episodes, everything will go like, oh, okay, I get it now. Kind of like the beginning of WandaVision, right? So I'm enjoying it for what it is right now, but usually with me with the Disney Plus shows, I say that, and then we get to the end and I'm like, yeah. We'll see. <laughs> Anyways, I, I mean, Moon Knight is, is cool looking. I like Mr. Knight as well. But when they went and said, oh, yeah, you know, we're going to reveal the rest of the figures for this Infinity Ultron Disney Plus wave. Well, that's a big nope. They can't do it just yet. So probably have some more Moon Knight figures, maybe something like that. They can't really show just yet. Maybe something's going to happen on the show. Or maybe it'll be for something else coming later. But rest assured, there are more figures uh, in the Infinity Ultron wave. Then, moving on to the Thor Love and Thunder wave. So, the Thor Love and Thunder trailer dropped. If I'm being 100% honest, it was a little bit lackluster, right? I like I like where they're going with Thor. I actually am one of those people where I really liked Ragnarok over the last, like, previous Thor movies. I thought that whole, you know, fun going out into the Jack Kirby uh, universe kind of thing was a lot more fun. So I'm looking forward to seeing more of that, more alien worlds and Thor just doing his Thor thing. The figures, on the other hand, to be quite honest with you, it's it's nothing against the figures. I think they all look great. But I'm more geared towards now the comic book stuff. If you're going to do animated Spider-Man, animated X-Men, that's really where I'm kind of heading. I'm going to go see the movies, obviously. But, you know, with Thor, you have Helm Thor or King Thor or whatever you want to say, Deluxe Thor. And then you have the Gun Show Thor. All these are pinless. If you want any of these figures, they are starting to hit Walmart store shelves early. I think they got a wind of it, so they kind of put them at the street date, which is April 26th. So... If uh, your Walmart hasn't put them out already and sold them, look for them in around April 26. And uh, yeah, you have uh, Lady Thor, or they're calling her Mighty Thor, which is Jane Foster. That's the movie version. You have King Valkyrie, Queen Valkyrie, whatever you want to call her. It's the Valkyrie, right? However that's going to go. In the movie, you have Gore, Gore the God Butcher, Death from Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, I, I really think they captured Christian Bale's look. You can totally tell. See, that's the thing is when these actors, they want to play these these characters, right? But you want to be able to see their face. So Gore the God Butcher looks a whole heck of a lot different in his comic book counterpart. But they do this to kind of mimic that while also being uh, able to recognize the actor. The actors really like to do that. It's just kind of a thing. So as fans, we kind of roll our eyes but, uh, you know, actors go like, hey, did you see me on the film? I looked like, um, <laughs> what did I hear the other day? Darth Plagueis, the wise or something like that? I don't know. Anyway, so you have Star-Lord, another Star-Lord, and you have Groot. He's got little uh, effect pieces now, like powers, which is actually pretty cool. I actually dig that that he did that. The Build-A-Figure is Korg. So, in all honesty for me, again, I have all these figures in some way, shape, or form, minus Gore. If I were to see Gore, maybe, you know what I mean? But uh, he's not only not one that I'm going after. But again, yes, you can pick all these up starting April 26th. And uh, yeah, if you're at Walmart and you found them early, good job. A lot of people wrote in with those. Sorry I didn't post them. They, we just got to wait and uh, yada yada. You know how it goes by now. Then if you're into the whole props thing, right? Prop replicas. They have Mjolnir pieced back together as we saw in the trailer. Who knows why, how sure the movie will explain it or maybe not explain maybe you'll set it up for a later thor movie on how it happened who knows spider-man or spider-man right they teased this uh, about a week or two ago so all three spider-mans from no way home are coming right so don't worry they are coming eventually and they did say they're going to be 100 percent new so they're going to do toby they're going to do andrew they're going to do 
whoever else is Spider-Man these days. So they are coming. It takes a good long while. You know, they got to go out to the Spider-Man action figure tree. They got to harvest them, right? They got to, you know, do all the things. And and finally, about 16 months later, you should have, uh, you know, your action figures. So give it some time. They are on their way for whenever they come out. Sometime, maybe they said 2023, maybe sooner. Who knows, right? Spider-Man Homecoming, right? Remember that uh, movie with the vulture? That was actually a pretty good movie, actually. I really like that one. Well, we're getting a two-pack... <laughs> We're getting civilian Peter Parker, right? So that's pretty cool. A lot of people want this. This is one of those where I'm like, cool. I'm glad. I'm happy for you. You can have Peter Parker doing his whole civilian attire thing for the MCU movies. Something I actually really like. Like, where is it? Like, okay, you get Ned. I'm not excited about Ned, but I am kind of interested in the Spider Ned. I think that that's pretty cool. Like a big, like a bulkier, fatter Spider Man. <laughs> that's. It's actually kind of funny, so I like that they put the mask in there. You know, he's playing with it, do put it on, yada yada. So this is a two pack. It's gonna hit pre orders Wednesday, four twenty. A lot of you probably were like, yes, four twenty, right? Uh, four twenty, and uh, this will be uh, wherever you buy your Spider Man figure. So again, I'll have Amazon links when applicable. Entertainment Earth, you know, yada yada. Not to worry, we'll get you those links. And then over in the whole Spider Man into the Spider Verse. Yeah, this is more so the first movie, not the whole two-part second movie that they're doing. But uh, you're getting a Spider-Man noir, which actually looks pretty dang good. Got to give it to him on that. That was uh, one of the glaring omissions from the uh, Spider-Man to the Spider-Verse line and everything else that kind of came out. You never did a Nicolas Cage figure, but he's going to come with Spider-Ham. It's basically just a, a redo, repaint of the previous release that came with, what, Spider-Gwen, I think? in the Stiltman wave. And then um, you have like this dot matrix look that kind of gives it that comic book feel all over the costume. So I definitely dig that. And if you're wondering where to pick this guy up, pre-orders tomorrow, Wednesday, 420. Target exclusive in the US, Toys R Us in Canada. And by now you've probably noticed these aren't mock-up boxes anymore. These are the new Marvel Legend boxes. They're closed boxes with all the fancy artwork. It's how all the toys are going these days. Plasticless, right? So, um, yeah, just be kind to your fellow collectors is all I'm going to say. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Like, um, just buy them and don't uh, do not do anything else with them, right? Boxes look okay, but, uh, yeah, I'm worried just as the next person is. You know what I'm talking about? Anyways, hey, Marvel Legends 20th Anniversary Wave, right? From Toy Biz to Hasbro. Now we have the fourth figure in the wave for Wave 1. Toad. Toad makes his debut, and uh, yeah, he's got one wicked tongue right there, Senator. So very cool, extra head portraits, very nicely done. I mean, it's exactly what I was kind of hoping for with Toad in that costume. So I think it looks pretty good. You can see uh, Dan has the old one mixed with a new one right there, and uh, all four figures are now going to be available if you want to complete Wave One. So extra hands, two extra Toads. You got the cardboard backdrop where I just kind of go, ah, oh, the first one was so good with the whole Man Spider redo and all that kind of stuff. Who cares, right? Fan channel exclusive pre-orders tomorrow. Fan channel meaning GameStop, Best Buy, not Target, not Walmart, possibly Amazon. We know how that goes where they go, ah, it's not going to be on Amazon, and then it shows up. But I would say, if anything, go more for GameStop. Uh, you know, online, entertainment, or stuff like that. So just get ready if you'd like them. And then heading on into the beyond amazing 60th anniversary Spider-Man event, right? So this is just kind of to go over stuff that they've already revealed in some way, shape, or form. So you have the Iron Spider, which was previously revealed. That will go up for pre-order tomorrow if you want to go and get him wherever you buy your Legends. Same thing with the Stealth Suit Future Foundation inverted costume, yada yada, a whole bunch of words to describe uh, a different costume Spider-Man. Going up for pre-order as well. They also kind of threw in a little line about Ghost Rider, you know what I mean? Like I was like, oh, okay, interesting. Kind of weird they brought Ghost Rider up. Fingers crossed because he's getting an anniversary this year. Would love to see more Ghost Rider figures. And uh, they also brought up... The uh, Wizard, something like that. It, Ryan said it, foreshadowing. So who knows? Maybe we got some new stuff uh, coming. But to continue on with the whole Beyond Amazing, you have a better look at the new Silk and Doc Ock 2-pack. Another one of those where I'm just like, I'm good. Honestly, I mean, it's great for those that missed them. I know that Silk 
kind of got up there in price. She comes with webbing. Doc Ock is basically the same thing. Non-bendy wired tentacles, but it's an Amazon exclusive. Now, it already went up for pre-order some weeks back, but um, they did say that eventually they will go back up for pre-order. It'll be limited, right? So you better get it if you want it. But um, yeah, look for that coming later this year in either case. Now, for me, this is the big one, right? They had talked about Null last year, right? They did a whole thing with Donny Cates. I, like, let's just say this, I like the character designs, I like the ideas and everything else more than, like, said the story, I think, ultimately kind of was like, yeah, okay, it's all right, you know, right, King in Black, but, um, yeah, Null, Null is coming, he looks huge, he looks menacing, god dang, does that look great, and he's got two extra head portraits, he's got his sword, very happy with how this came out, I'm, this is the one where I was like, yeah, okay, that's the one I'm talking about. And then they were like, hey, you know what? Uh, let's just make this into a two-pack with the freaking Batwing Venom or Vampiter, right, for the old toy. But that's exactly what I thought of when I saw this. But uh, it's the movie-bodied Venom comic book guys, right? So all those people that said, hey, hey, you know, uh, maybe we should put a little comic book. That's a good-looking Venom, right? Another case, so they put the white spider symbol on him. You got two head portraits. You got massive bat wings. You got fisted hands. Yes, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I want to see right here. So I'm good to go. This is definitely one that I will be uh, uh, pre-ordering in spades, right? So tomorrow, Wednesday, 420, wherever you get your Marvel Legends again. Well done. That That's one I'm very excited about, right? Then you have The Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows. Now, just to bring this up, a long time ago, did a little event, Canada Expo, got to interview the Marvel Legends team. Thank you very much. You know whose you are. You helped me out with that. And they teased Spinneret a while ago. And they also teased the, uh, the daughter of Peter Parker and Mary Jane a while ago. And now, now they're, they're, uh, they're doing it. So... You have Dan, he was showing off the, first of all, there's a Spider-Man in this two-pack, right? And you remember, you know, most Spider-Mans, they have the weird joints where you see the pins and yada yada. Well, on this one, they're changing everything. So now we're going to get Mary Jane as Spinneret, right? She looks great. Very well done. Nice graphics. Nice head portraits. Yada yada. Everybody's going to want it because the new Spider-Man in this box, right? So this Spider-Man, extra pinless, no pins whatsoever, right? That's how they get you. We bought all those other Spider-Mans and now we finally got the one that we all knew was coming and the one we always kind of wanted, you know what I mean? But he's got toe articulation as well. For those of you that want toe articulation, it's not something that I was like begging him for, but a lot of people were. So you got everything. So you got spinnerets. You got a really cool looking Spider-Man. I'll give it to him all day. That looks pretty dang good, right? Pre-orders tomorrow, 420. You know the drill by now. Keep in mind when I say this, I know a lot of people, are like, well, of course pre-orders tomorrow. There's a few that, uh, that won't. Like this new uh, figure coming out for the Spider-Man, the animated series, Retro Line. So again, big fan, Null, Venom, the whole bat wings kind of thing. Remember this whole lizard build a figure, right? Very hunchy. Very, I mean, I liked it. I think it was a cool, um, <laughs> thought it was a cool building figure. I had no problems with it. Minus the dinosaur head. It's very dinosaurish, but uh, still very well done. Well, remember Spider-Man the Animated Series? There was Dr. Kirk Connors and, uh, yeah, the lizard. So I always say now, Spider-Man kind of the Animated Series when they do this retro line. The body is there, everything is there, but the head portraits are largely comic book, which, hey, still work really great as well, right? Very cool looking, the tongue's out. Very much a humanized look for the lizard, this go around. He's got the coats, he's got the tattered everythings, you know what I mean? But he comes with two beakers, right? So he can do all his experiments. You can kind of see how the scaling is going to go. He's going to fit in with Spider-Man. I actually really like, he's got the classic, like, first appearance lizard head. That's really cool. Give it to him all day. So you got two head portraits. You got the articulation. You got a bendy wire tail, right? Kind of hits you on all the aspects you were wanting for the lizard. But uh, this will be, uh, again, part of the Spider-Man the Animated Series retro line. It's a Walmart exclusive. It's not going up for pre-order tomorrow. Not going to go for pre-order for a little bit. But just keep to my socials. I'll put it up whenever he goes up. So it's kind of like to be determined. So near future, yada yada. Spider-Man the Animated Series retro carded lizard. Pretty cool, right? And then to kind of finish her off, you have the Amazing Fantasy number 15 
Spider-Man. And that is still one of my favorite Toy Biz figures. I like the black and the red, and I like that they did that webbing, right, the way that they did. I like Spider-Man with the underarmed webbing when it comes to the comic book stuff. I think that's cool. But, uh, again, kind of showing the uh, the new box as opposed to the old Spider-Man Classics Toy Biz, right? And you put them in the stand and do all that kind of stuff. Here's the figure. Just look at it. That's pretty dang cool. Now, I do have my reservations about the underarm webbing, right? Because I've seen that before with, say, what was it? Um, Spider-Woman had some weird stuff going on. And then I think it was 2099. I hope that they've improved that overall. Because a lot of times it doesn't stay. It doesn't look good. Well, I have to say, that's why I kind of think the whole, like, cloth stuff the Toy Biz did actually worked pretty dang good but uh, this one's 100% new he's got detachable web wings he's got fist hands he's got thwips hands he's got all the hands you want he's got it all right so that's gonna be very very cool for a lot of people definitely pretty good reveals overall I think there's a little bit something for everyone if you're not an MCU fan you got comic books if you're not in the comic books you got MCU you see what I'm saying here so it's kind of like very much how I've said Picking and choosing is kind of better. You can't get them all. If you get them all, hey, good for you. But for me, I'm going to be more going for ones that suit my fancy, right? I do like these Spider-Mans, don't get me wrong. But figures I've never had before. Venom with wings, weird stuff, you know, retro animated lizard, all that stuff. So that's right up my alley. So more of that for me. But the MCU, movies are great, whatever. The, the figures, we'll see if they put a comic book build a figure in the wave you know we'll see what happens but uh, anyways that's gonna wrap it up oh of course they had uh, one more uh, little tease it was like a lab coat a cloth goods lab coat right a little white tiny little lab coat that could look good for that lizard figure coming out but uh, my guess a beast x-men figure because we all know right? it's very oversized we'll see what happens in that sense so again thanks to dan dwight and ryan for showing off some new marvel legends Curious to know what you guys think. As always, comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Marvel Legends. Links will be down in the description below. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you guys soon. Adios.